How's it going guys? In this video we're going to talk about how to clean up your git repos and remove all past iterations and I'm going to do it on one of mine as an example. So hopefully this helps you out and uh, let's get right into it. I'm kind of doing this in a live cast way so it might be a little messy but we're going to walk through all the main steps and uh, let's get right to it. So on my other screen here I'm going to github and going to a repo that I want to clean up. Okay, so I have this repo called DM Power, and it's one I just want to uh, clean up and make smaller, because right now, like if you clone it, you're gonna get all the history with it too, right? And all the branches and all that. If you want to get rid of all the history and you just wanna have the latest only and make it as small as possible for people to clone and work with, this is what you can do. Now keep in mind, this is very important. You're going to lose all your old commit history if you do this. You're going to lose all your old stuff if you do this. And you'll only be left with the latest version. So, do this at your own discretion. Back up what you need to back up. All that. And uh, let's go. Alright, so if you clone it right now, that's what you get. But we're not going to clone it right now because we want to do a few things. Okay, so when we're, we're going to run some things that are going to remove... A lot of files a lot of old files and it's all git commands but first before you do that what you need to do is get rid of your other branches that because they will also have a history of stuff and if you don't get rid of them this won't work and you also need to get rid of all your tags so that's that's kind of that kind of stinks you know you get rid of all your tags right but it's still pretty vitally important if you want to do this. If you've got to keep your tags, then, then don't do this. You know, I've said it. You know how to do it. If you want to delete these, you gotta you got to click on them and go to delete right here. Now, I'm, I'm having a little second thoughts on whether I should do it on this repo or not. So I'm going to do it on a different repo here. Yeah. Let me do it on DM Power 2. I'll run it on this one, because this one doesn't have much history anyways. I've already deleted all the branches. All that. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna run it on this one. Cause I don't I don't want to risk. I need to go through that other repo first before I do all this basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and clone this, right? I'm gonna hit this button. I'm gonna open up a uh well you can use what you want. I'm gonna use a terminal. Actually, I'll use I'll use fork here. Hit clone. This is the same as doing git clone and typing in this the normal way you would. We'll use the console some more here in a second, but we'll go ahead and do this. Oh, I already have it cloned. So in that case, I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And here we go. I've only got a few things. It'll still kind of work here. But yeah, just keep in mind, you got to get rid of all your tags and other branches. I don't have any on this one, so there's nothing to delete. But if you're using something like Fork, you can do a lot of that work here too. But if not, you might have to go to GitHub and do it. I know you're all probably waiting for these commands, but I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. All right, so what you want to do is just open console, of course. You're probably here anyway, but you can't do this next part in Fork at all. So what you want to do is you want to check out an orphan new branch. So we're gonna go git checkout dash dash orphan and we just give it any name. I'm just gonna call it last. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it last, that's fine. And it switches to a new branch last and this is a branch without any history. That's what the orphan is, basically. And now we, we're gonna do a git add all uh, git add except rather than doing all we're gonna go or you normally go dot to add everything right and we want to do this in a special way with dash a and what dash a does i'll just bring it over here actually is it does all with no ignore removal it's basically this no ignore removal makes sure it gets all the directories it needs and dash all just adds everything if we add all the current files, it's going to be all the files in the current directory. And there we go, it was successful. I'm going to do an ls here just so you can see it basically added all this stuff. 
Okay, so that is all well and good. The next step here, we want to make a commit and push it. So uh, next thing we want to do is get commit and we're going to do dash AM for all message, kind of a shortcut and give it anything you want. Uh, I'm just going to call uh, fresh, call it fresh in it, but you can call it initial commit and it, whatever you want. It's going to be the message that's on all these files. It, that's going to say created a bunch of stuff. Let me see if it created stuff from the out. Uh, no, it didn't. Okay, good. I must have my git ignore correct. That's good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to delete our main branch or master branch, whichever you're calling it. And it is the only branch. So we're going to go git branch capital D, which is going to delete it everywhere locally and up on your repo and main and main's gone. So now all we are got is this orphan. And what we're going to do here is we're going to rename our orphan to main. So we're going to go git branch dash M main. And there we go. It is now lame named main instead of last. So what we want to do now is just push this to our origin. So we're going to go git push dash F origin. Uh, main, most type master. And now we have pushed this fresh orphan with no history up as our main. And uh, what we're going to do next here is we're going to basically do a git garbage collection. That's GC. So you got to go git GC. And we want to do it to the most extreme. So we're going to go dash dash aggressive. And we want to make sure we get rid of everything that doesn't have references. So we're going to go prune equals all. And once this is done running, there wasn't much here because this was a small repo. It will get rid of all the history. So now if we go back over here and hit refresh, we'll see we got a fresh init on all of these. And there's no longer any history. So basically that's what you do. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Thanks for watching. Matt out. Peace.